you a quick rundown of my paddle board and let you know why it's my number one paddle craft for fishing. First of all, this is a Dragonfly paddle board. It's 13.6. It's made of a composite material that would be best described as a uh, like a spider wire woven material, similar to Kevlar. The very light, very strong, very durable, can take a beating. It's a hollow core, which I like. It allows me to attach Scotty rod holders to it. Also put a fish finder in and put the transducer inside the board. Also wire it for LED lights. If you notice, it has its nice V hole up front. This allows it to cut through the water. It doesn't get that hole slap that you do with some paddle boards. It also allows it to track very well. Up front it does have a handle. I got the handle here. I do have a line attached. Sometimes I'll use my uh, stakeout pole. I will attach this to it. Or, um, you know, sometimes I get out and I'll wait. I'll pull the board behind me. It has bungees up front. I use these bungees sometimes if I take a fish bag. Going offshore, I'll carry a large kayak fish bag. It'll fit this thing perfectly. And the bungee are up front. Also, if you look, I got two Scotty rod holders. And I usually use those for my cameras. Sometimes one, sometimes I'm shooting with two cameras. And if you go further back, you can see I got a fish finder. It's a Raymarine Dragonfly fish finder. And underneath the hatch is where I store the battery. I can also store my keys, I can store my wallet and uh, cell phone inside the hatch. Right here in the front, there's two toggle switches. These switches operate the lights. There's LED lights along the hole, underneath the hole, and also got LED lights on the deck. Going back a little further, there's a little hatch here. This is where I can open this up and get to my transducer. It's mounted right through. I'm shooting right through the hole of the, uh, the craft. has a pickup handle over here. And on this side, there's a ring. It's got a solid ring going through it. This is used to uh, attach attachments like a lip grip. It also is great for running cables through, locking up my kayak, securing it to my truck, or sometimes securing it to a pole or wherever it may be if I'm staying somewhere. Further back, I got a cooler. This is an Ingle cooler. It's a dry cooler. It's not so much a cold water cooler, but it's like a dry box cooler. I'll put my lunch box with a regular little salt pack cooler inside. I keep my first aid kit down in here. I will keep, um, you know, everything I need, fishing tackle, all kinds of gear in there. On the side of the cooler, I have two paddle clips. One clips for my paddle. The other clips for my push pole. This one's the paddle pole which comes in very handy when you're in shallow water. On this side here, I have a clip. I keep my pliers. They are attached. They slide right in here. As you can see, the LED lights are around this uh, cooler, along with the board. At nighttime, if I'm nighttime fishing, this board lights up, and there's no reason why anybody can't see me in a power boat. It looks like a uh, Christmas break. In the back of the cooler, I have two Scotty rod holders mounted. Generally, that's what I have as rod holders. I can put any kind of attachment on there. Also, I got two Scotty flush mounts just behind the cooler. I can use those for a night light. Over here, I have a drink holder. I can also take these out and exchange them with a um, rod holder, with a uh, little cutting platform, or any kind of Scotty accessories that they have. Working on to the back of the board, there's another handle. It also has another ring. This ring, again, you can lock things up. You can lock your uh, kayak with a cable. It has a little uh, grab handle here. It also has a plug similar to a uh, kayak, so if water does get inside the hole, I can sit there, take this plug out, tilt it up, drain it out just like I would a kayak. It has a shallow water skeg in the back. It's long, and it keeps your, uh, it just enables me to go in very shallow water and uh, just two or three inches. It also enables me to do uh, beach landings and I don't have to worry so much about the skeg. It's a simple design, easy to use. My number one go-to, love the fact that, you know, when you're standing, you see so much more than you do in a, a seated position of a kayak. Anyway, thank you for watching.